massive infrastructural development, as well as enormous megaprojects, are a forte of the Western world. From magnificent skyscrapers to roads, airports, and bridges, where in terms of bridges, the country boasts several world-famous buildings, including the world-famous Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, California. Engineers from other countries have been quietly working on massive bridges that have amazed their American peers with their audacity and innovation. For as far back in time as is possible, humans have been building bridges to shorten travel times or create alternate pathways. The Arcadico Bridge, also known as the Kazuma Bridge, is a Mycenaean bridge on the Peloponnese, Greece, near the present route connecting Turin's and Epidauros that dates back to the Greek Bronze Age and is one of the oldest arch bridges still in operation today, as well as the oldest intact bridge in Europe. Generally, bridge construction has progressed well beyond the very crude Arcadico Bridge, with the purpose, complexity, and functions of bridges expanding with time. In modern times, China has emerged as a dominating player in global infrastructure mastering the art of bridge construction with huge and sophisticated feats of engineering that are impossible to match in other regions of the world. Today's video shows some of the gigantic Chinese bridges whose engineering baffles American engineers. As always, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the space below. The first bridge is the Kishui River Bridge, which rises 350 meters above the water which was facilitated because local officials sought to build a new bridge connecting the Gizhu Jiangzigu and Sichuan Zugu expressways in China to enhance economic development and offer a reliable connection between the two routes. The $253 million Kishui River Bridge spans 2,009 meters across the river. Sichuan Road and Bridge is in charge of the project's design, production, and construction. The meandering, hilly site presented complex topographical and geological characteristics, such as a cliff on the Sichuan side and a maximum elevation of 350 meters, as well as collapse zones with rocky and karst sections that posed a risk to the project crew. Consequently, they required a design that provided a strong structural support system over the river's vast valley. As a result, a 1,200-meter segment of the bridge would necessitate a two-tower, single-span suspension design. Sichuan Road and Bridge realized they required a more flexible, digital workflow to assure an accurate design, increase communication among teams, and eliminate mistakes and clashes as the design of the Kishui River Bridge became more complex. The rough terrain prevented their use of heavy equipment, making it difficult to build an access road, making this job one of the most difficult they had encountered in decades. As a result, traditional bridge construction methods could not be used, therefore the team had to figure out how to build the main bridge deck as a truss off-site and deliver segments to the canyon, as well as how to create a system for all elements of the project. They figured out how to optimize their digital design workflow, allowing them to cut the footprint of the bridge tower foundation by 30%, and lessen the number of sophisticated earthworks required in the hilly location. They increased modeling efficiency by 30% and design efficiency by 10% by using unified digital design and excellent communication among expert teams. Furthermore, computerized design assisted in resolving 114 disputes before the building began. Sichuan Road and Bridge constructed the Kishui River Bridge in late 2019 after saving 60 days of design time and 19 months of construction time. Engineers in China are constructing a colossal bridge on two cliff faces to connect a distant river valley to the rest of the country. The new Green Juice Bridge which stretches 798 meters across a river valley and crosses a lonely gorge in central Yunnan province, is the longest and most certainly most spectacular single tower suspension bridge ever built. The distance from the tower to the mountain anchorage is 780 meters, breaking the previous single tower record of 766 meters held by the Jinchejiang Hushe Aksia Highway Bridge. The new bridge looms over the Green Juice River 
and reaches past tunnels that erupt from sheer mountain slopes on either side of the valley. The project, which began construction in 2019, took around three years to complete and was scheduled to open to traffic in late April 2022. China opened the new Green Juice Bridge over the Yangtze River on October 31, 2021, connecting the district of Chongming to metropolitan Shanghai in about an hour's drive, clearing the path for rapid development. The district alone has a surface area that is half that of Singapore. The new bridge's complexity has already earned its recognition as an industrial design marvel. The magnificent vista surrounding the massive concrete infrastructure, as well as its imposing presence, and its incredible three-year construction span has earned Green Juice Bridge the title of engineering marvel. The bridge is sustained at both ends by cables and is only supported by one tower. There are no other columns, giving it a stunning, gravity-defying appearance. The road project in China is being developed as the world's first one-tower and single-span connecting state viaduct. The bridge will significantly reduce travel time between Yuxi City and Yunnan's Chukchingyi Autonomous Prefecture. Both Yuxi City and Chukching have unique characteristics despite not being major tourist sites. The former is well known for tobacco manufacturing, while the latter is well known for its dinosaur museum. The new bridge connection will connect two areas in the heart of Yunnan province to important cities such as Kunming and Dali. The new Green Juice Bridge falls under the broad umbrella of China's Belt and Road Initiative. The Yang Bao Shan Bridge in the superpower Asian nation is the world's longest bridge, standing more than 300 meters tall and with six lanes. This six-lane bridge is China's widest steel truss suspension bridge built in mountainous areas. The deck is significantly higher, rising 320 meters above a reservoir and 360 meters above the river's true level. The lower leg of the 186.5-meter-tall west tower is 110.7 meters below the deck, creating a one-of-a-kind suspension bridge on stilts. As a matter of fact, there are only six other suspension bridges in the world that use tower piers that are taller than 100 meters below deck, and most of them are in China. The Songxihe, Qingshui River Bridge, Honghe Bridge Jian Yun, Dahe, Mailing Finglin, and Tiger Jumping Railway are among them. The Gangbaoshan Bridge, 1,112 meters long, is part of the Giang Humaping Highway. It is strategically important to the area's economic development since it reduces the travel time between Giang and Huangping from 5 hours to 1 hour and 20 minutes. It will also assist ethnic minorities in areas such as Kainan and Kaindongan prefectures. The Gijuang Highway project begins in Giang's Nanming District, travels through Wudang District, Longli County, Guiding County, Fuquan City, and concludes in Huangping County, Southeast Gizhu Prefecture. The terminal is linked to the Yukai Expressway, and the bridge's main span is 650 meters long. The two major cables constitute the bridge's main lifeline, and they were created utilizing a revolutionary approach that was first used at the site in all of China. These cables weigh over 4,600 tons and are made up of 36 through-length strands. They use galvanized steel wires that are extremely strong. If all of the individual steel wires utilized in the cables are detached and then reunited at the end, the resulting wire will be more than 26,000 kilometers long. This is more than twice the size of the globe. The wires were built on the spot, eliminating the need for the large components to be transported. Engineers stress-tested the Yangbaoshan Bridge before its opening by parking 48 huge laden lorries weighing 1,680 tons. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, the world's longest sea-crossing bridge tunnel system, is the next Chinese megabridge. It is a gigantic 55-kilometer-long bridge that connects Hong Kong, Macau, and Zhuhai. Prior to its construction, tourists and travelers traveling from or to Hong Kong had to board a ferry. 
The mega bridge was designed by China to create a larger Bay Area that includes Hong Kong, Macau, and nine other Chinese cities. The zone is home to about 70 million people. Traveling between Zhuhai and Hong Kong used to take four hours, but the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge has reduced it to 30 minutes. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, which opened to traffic in 2018, cost a stunning $20 billion, but Chinese officials estimate it to generate up to $1.44 trillion for the economy, which is a fair return on investment. According to officials, the project was two years late and claimed the lives of at least 18 construction workers. After nine years of building to withstand earthquakes and typhoons, Chinese President Xi Jinping announced his opening. The builders employed approximately 400,000 tons of steel, enough to construct 60 Eiffel Towers. A 6.7-kilometer portion in the middle disappears into an undersea tunnel that connects two artificial islands. About 30 kilometers of the bridge's total length crosses the waters of the Pearl River Delta to let ships across. The remaining sections are connection roads, fire ducts, and land tunnels that connect Hong Kong's Zhuhai to the main bridge. The bridge requires ongoing maintenance, and the government anticipates spending over $30 million each year to keep it in pristine condition. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge is amazing, but not everyone can drive over it. To use the bridge, you must first obtain a special permit, which officials distribute through a quota system. Even after receiving the valuable permit, you must still pay a toll because the bridge is not allowed for public transportation. Only private shuttle buses will travel the route, there will be no train link, and if you ever drive on the bridge, be aware that there are yawn cams waiting to catch drivers yawning. In fact, if you yawn three times in a row, local authorities will be notified, so make sure you're rested before attempting to cross. There are also specific police patrols and cameras to detect terrorist threats. Furthermore, because drivers in China and Hong Kong drive on opposite sides of the road, there are special merging channels that allow drivers to switch lanes. Authorities initially estimated that 9,200 vehicles would cross the bridge every day, but their projection was reduced when new transportation networks were built in the region. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch the next video on your screen, which looks into the most useless mega projects in the world. As always, make sure to give our video a like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos.